Good evening, everybody. Welcome to today's Applied Neo Life. And we are going to have a lively discussion on prostate health maintenance. I've called it prostate health maintenance, basically because we are in the business of prevention. And I've got a mission, which is healthier men for a wealthier nation. I hope all of you are on that same mission as well. I truly believe that if our men can become more aware of what, what is needed for them to be healthy, then they will lead the rest of um, the family into great health. So without further ado, I'll introduce myself. My name is Esther Zanambasi. I am a passionate near life distributor and also trained as a medical doctor. I've been a medical doctor for many years and I have seen that prevention is indeed way better than cure or waiting until there is a problem and then hoping that it can be medicated away and even supplemented away. So prevention is the idea, particularly in prostate health. So I thought I would start with this little uh, slide, with this slide, which is by Carl Jung, who was a famous psychologist. And he said, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will, you will call it fate. In other words, until you seek out that knowledge and bring it to your mindfulness and become aware, you will forever say that's the way it is. It's fate, maybe. Um, it's bewitchment or whatever. So the idea of these sessions that I call applied neo life is to apply what we have to real life situations and to apply them with wisdom. So let's talk about the prostate. Conditions that affect the prostate include inflammation that we call prostatitis, that is commonly due to bacterial infections, often treated with antibiotics. However, in these days, we are seeing more and more antibiotic resistant strains. So yeah, it's, a, it's quite a challenge. And then of course, there is age-related enlargement that we call benign prostatic hypertrophy, age-related specifically, and we'll talk about things that might be promoting that as well. And then the dreaded one is cancer of the prostate, which is becoming increasingly prevalent, more and more prevalent. So now that's a picture to show what the prostate and where the prostate is. It is a gland that uh, surrounds the urethra, that is the tube that takes urine out of the bladder. And a normal one is about the size of a walnut, they say. Perhaps that would be about an almond or a walnut. And the urethra goes right through it. And therefore, when it enlarges the urethra, rather the, the prostate, you can see that it will squeeze the urethra and cause the symptoms that are caused which are um, all those ones. But I just want to point out that prostate disease, diseases have wide ranges of symptoms. The symptoms vary quite remarkably. And that is the reason for screening. It is so important to screen. So all men over the age of about 40 are advised to have regular prostate checkups. So the, the symptoms are there, uh, slow or weak urine stream, pain might be made worse by sitting. And it's uh, uncanny, but yes, a lot of um, jobs involve 
sitting for long hours. So the modern day lifestyle actually sets one up for this kind of challenge. And then frequent and urgent need to pass urine might be worse at night, pain on passing urine, loss of bladder or anal sphincter control. Some people might complain of chronic low backache. Others might complain of paralysis or tingling in the lower limbs. Now, all those are quite varied. They won't necessarily happen in every person. And the person might actually have no symptoms. So that's the reason for screening. Also associated causative factors. They tends to be an elevation of estrogen. Estrogen is a hormone found more commonly, uh, rather it's found in both men and women, but it is uh, predominantly a female hormone which causes tissues to grow, okay? One of the tissues obviously would be during pregnancy, estrogen levels go up. Now that is in women, but in men, it has been found that estrogen levels tend to increase with the aging process, but that has been paralleled by the fact that most men are gaining more and more weight. You might remember last week or whenever it was a few weeks ago, we discussed belly fat and we said that that is a sign of elevated estrogen. Also, exposure to chemicals with estrogenic effects. One that comes to mind immediately is petroleum products. They have estrogenic effects. And then this might come as a surprise. So does EMF. We are now being exposed more and more to electromagnetic fields because of modern lifestyle. Those also might have those effects, estrogenic effects. And then inadequate exposure to sunlight resulting in vitamin D deficiency. Again, just like sitting in an office, a lot of people find their jobs keeping them away from exposure to sunlight. So that's um, something that one has to look at. Okay, I like to go down to the foundations. As part of uh, Applied Neo Life, I like to go back to the basics and then we are able to connect the dots um, as we move along. So that's a picture of a human cell. And inside the cell, uh, things called mitochondria, but the cell membrane itself is a, a double lipid layer. We call it a biphospholipid layer. And those are what the mitochondria look like. They are also double li lipid layers. And that is where all activity of a cell to make the cell work happen and that's why we call them the powerhouses of cells. So here goes the important cell double layer. As long ago as 1959, a researcher wrote the essential lipids control cell metabolism statement. They also determine efficiency of gonadal and adre adrenocortical hormones those are the sex hormones and the stress hormones and all the other hormones that are released by the adrenals. And those hormones have most to do with the effective use of all classes of food for bodily nutrition. Okay, so that was 1959. That was written then. Now, more recently, uh, a nutritionist who is recognized as the father of functional medicine. That is a, a branch of medicine that is very, very new. It's the branch of medicine that I really am passionate about as well. He said, over the past several years, it has become increasingly clear that alterations in membrane lipid composition and membrane fluidity influence important cell functions. So the nature of fatty acids determines cellular function, including hormone responsiveness. Very similar to what was said, but also those of you who are in the family of Neolife will recognize what is being said here. 
and we shall go on and see what is happening there. So somebody is writing on my screen. Oh gosh, whoever it is, please erase that. All right, so testosterone is kept elevated by maintaining a healthy weight. I'm talking about testosterone specifically, and I'll tell you why I, I'm talking about testosterone. Testosterone is the male hormone, and the younger people have a higher level of testosterone than older people. So at some point it is believed, it, it's always said that pros the prostate enlarges as a result of decline in testosterone, which might be a fact actually. And also high levels of uh, testosterone help to keep estrogen levels low in men. And uh, I pointed out that estrogen tends to cause tissues to grow. And again, exposure to sun sunlight also increases testosterone. So at some point, those facts were used as a, a reason to design a drug that would inhibit an enzyme that converts testosterone from one form to another within the body. And that was thought to be treating um, benign prostate hypertrophy and also preventing cancer. But it, it was a medication, primarily in small doses, it was used to help people who are losing hair, you know, the people who are balding. And then they said to themselves, okay, maybe we can use it in a, a slightly higher dosage so that we give it to people who might be suffering from benign prostate hypertrophy and perhaps even to prevent cancer. But unfortunately, the only about a third of people found any real benefit. And also, it's interesting that we have in the range, so palmetto, which is found in masculine herbal complex, which isn't in all the markets. So for those of you who have it in your market, so palmetto also uh, causes that particular enzyme to be blocked so that the prostate gland doesn't enlarge, okay? That's how it, it works, it, it helps to do that. But I want to point out here that before people go to herbs and other things, it's important to ensure that nutrition is adequate. And that's the point of all this. So testosterone, yes, it's important to keep it elevated, and the way to do it is to maintain a healthy body weight. So now I just want to talk about prostate health maintenance through lifestyle modifications. And I've made it as um, simple to remember as four main goals. These are the four main goals. We want to stabilize blood sugar when we are modifying our lifestyle and specifically the diet. We want to achieve a balance of essential fatty acids, okay? And those include things like the lipids and sterols and the omega-3 fatty acids. Then we also want to optimize or to normalize the gut, the gut microbiome, that is the population of microbes that live in the gut have to be optimized. And if they are totally abnormal, it is important to normalize them. Why? Because that plays a big role in maintaining the immune system. And then of course, care for the liver. The liver is the, liver is the main center for detox. Now, when I say that, a lot of people who drink a lot of alcohol or who perhaps are on loads of medications, and so the liver is always having to deal with that, or even have a diet that is not adequate or not 
conducive to good health, their liver suffers. A diet rich in sugar, for example, will lead to a condition that we call fatty liver, particularly if those sugars are the ones that you find in processed foods and cool drinks and situations like that. So those are the four main goals. Now, as we connect these dots, I want you to see that all this drives to one or two key root causes of everything. But when all is said and done, inflammation is at the foundation of all, virtually all diseases that we need to talk about. So when you look around you and connect those dots, chronic inflammation is caused by things, uh, rather chronic inflammation, when you look around you, can damage your body in so many ways. And point number three is abnormal growth of healthy cells. You may have a healthy prostate, which then becomes enlarged, which then becomes perhaps a, a malignancy. And so inflammation is something that we all have to be aware of. And foods like that will do nothing to prevent inflammation, okay? So the general thought about this is that hormones cannot function normally if the quality of lipids are missing from that double layered cell wall and mitochondrial wall that I talked about. So these fats promote oxidative damage and inflammation. And unfortunately, a lot of people, again, who have either their own businesses or have office jobs, this is almost a staple these days, isn't it? Where they'll send for food and it comes nicely packed and they tuck into it seated at their desk. So there's a lot of work to do. I like this picture because it always reminds us that health is very much like money. We never have a true idea of its value until it is lost, which is very sad. So I also like this one. Thomas Edison said a long time ago, the doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs but rather will cure and prevent disease with nutrition. That is totally amazing to have been said a long time ago. And so on that note, I would like to introduce to you the Scientific Advisory Board of Neolife. And they have been at this for a long, long time. So they were the doctors of the future a long time ago. The Scientific Advisory Board, for those of you who are guests, are a group of scientists that research and develop everything that New Life presents to us. It was uh, established by Dr. Arthur First, who was a top toxicologist and top pharmacologist, and he was a cancer researcher, who saw that it is totally possible to prevent cancers by good nutrition. So our ethic as a company is that everything is based in nature and backed by impeccable science, thanks to this group of scientists. And so the flagship product is lipids and sterols, which we have talked about. And you've heard about the cell membranes needing lipids and sterols. There are critical components for cells that support the transport of nutrients into and waste out of the cells. And so they will lead to efficient nutrient utilization, increased energy. Uh, they'll support cellular health, including ensuring that um, situations like benign prostate hypertrophy is uh, uh, avoided. Because once one feels well, one actually becomes more vital in all aspects of their lives. So all aspects of life become more enjoyable. The role of plant sterols, and I want to emphasize this point because I know for a fact that a lot of men prefer to eat lots and lots of meat and not enough of the plant sterols. So I hope from now on you can advise your loved ones 
to look at their diet more critically and in, introduce those plant sterols and plants generally. So plant sterols blunt the effects of cholesterol and cholesterol is known to contribute to hypertrophy of the prostate. In other words, the swelling of the prostate and also speeds the growth of hormone-linked cancers. Other hormone-linked can colon, breast, and of course, the prostate cancer that we're talking about. So phytosterols, those are plant sterols, are found in nuts, seeds, and beans. And that is where we have an advantage in that our first flagship product called TreeNN is actually supplying us with plant sterols. Then we have the core products or the core nutrition, which we all know is where to start. Whenever you're advising anybody, this is where to start. So each time that question is asked, New Life has made it so possible for us to know where to begin. I'll talk about ProVitality shortly, but New Life Shake is all the 22 amino acids and it is a good product. It's a complete meal. So here again are the whole grain, giving us the phytosterols or the plant-based sterols. But then there is a balance. I mentioned the balance between the essential fatty acids. It gives us omega-3 as well. Most modern diets are very rich in pro-inflammatory fats, the fats that lead to inflammation such as a picture I showed of that plate of food. But we need the sterols and we also need omega-3 sourced from a very high quality. And it is presented to us with no toxins and it is extracted without heat or solvent. So it is of the highest quality. And then together with that are the carotenoids and the vitamins and minerals. We also have um, a range for children. And so you might ask yourself, why should we worry about the children? Well, little boys have prostates too, and you want to prevent at an early age. Now, the diet. Ideally, the diet should adequately supply the following nutrients for prostate health. Our topic for today, essential fatty acids, zinc, selenium, carotenoids and flavonoids, sulfur containing vegetables such as garlic, onions, broccoli, cauliflower. It should supply for the uh, health of the prostate, adequate vitamin E and some vitamin D as well. Now, these are what I took out as key points, but let's look at carotenoids specifically. And out of them, there is a particular carotenoid called lycopene, which is very, very important for prevention of um, cancer of the prostate, among the other things that it does. Lycopene, yes, will help the body to fight it. And if it has already developed or to pre to prevent it from developing. However, our carotenoid complex is a complex. It doesn't give us just one um, carotenoid. It gives us a big family of over 600 carotenoids. And that is important. The key is that in nature, that's how they are presented to us. And also by giving one in huge amounts leads to deficiencies in others and New Life knows that and doesn't ever do um, a huge amount of one thing for that very reason. And then as regards the sulfur containing vegetables, all those ones, they actually increase glutathione in the body. Glutathione is the, the chief antioxidant and it is produced within the body. And so by having all those sulfur-containing vegetables on board, that is uh, uh, enhanced. And also, they, they support detoxification, a phase of detoxification that we call phase two. There are two phases of detoxification. Phase one 
is when the toxins are put into solution so that phase two will bind them up with all those sulfur containing vegetables and escort them through the bile and through the various uh, um, excretion passages or pathways and out of the body. So um, I've belabored this point because uh, <laughs> it's important, let's put it that way. Okay, so detoxification, very, very important. And that's why it is so crucial to ensure that that happens. And so let's look at more specifically zinc. I've mentioned selenium, by the way, selenium is also very important and it is found in multi in the pro vitality pack, as is zinc as well. But if one needs to support immune function and prostate health further, we have chelated zinc, food sourced, and it helps to, um, it helps with the promoting healthy metabolism and other, all right? And so we've got that one. We've got the detox pack, which has garlic. That is one of the sulfur containing um, products that help with detoxification. And then I talked about the four goals. One of the goals was to optimize gut health, the gut microreason. Acidophilus is not in all the markets yet. It will get there. Beta gut helps to make the toxins soluble and get excreted out of the body. And so the importance of cruciferous vegetables for prostate health, I just want to emphasize it. I've mentioned it, support phase two detoxification, but it, they also decrease a bad form of estrogen with that long name and increase a good form of estrogen. As I said, men and women need some estrogen and the type in men and women had better be the good type. Otherwise, problems can occur. So cruciferous plus is a powerful nutrient uh, containing vegetables called the cruciferous uh, vegetables. And they enhance detoxification systems and promote. So that's another one that would be an add on, a good one to add on. Right. So I'm coming to the end of this presentation and then I'm going to open it up for discussion. A gentleman by that name, Michael Pollan, actually put it very well. He said, eat food, real food, right? Not junk food, not too much food so that you avoid gaining too much weight unhealthily. And then eat mostly plants. I think that summarizes it very, very well. And now let's look at um, the six best doctors. This just reminds a lot of sunshine. Do exercise rather than sitting and leading a sedentary life, which is one of the factors that promote the development of um, prostate problems. Exercise is very, very important. And then of course, water as part of um, enhancing detoxification and rest and healthy food. So those are all very important. And talking of the environment, because if we are to spend more and more time out there catching the sun and fresh air, we need our environment to be as clean and pristine as possible. So one always asks the question, why does Neolife have cleaning products? Okay. Now, my story goes that this, in fact, is where I started. I was looking for good cleaning products so that I could clean up my micro environment called my home. And I found them with Neolife and I found much, much more. And I'm so glad that I discovered the one three products are a must in every home, as is the laundry compound. And with those, you can do all the cleaning jobs. There are, of course, others that uh, are on offer, but those are the primary four products that are required. I add a fifth one called Carpet Glow. I find it very useful. And then because I'm talking to men, 
and uh, men love their cars if they have a car. We have an earth-friendly wash and wax car shampoo, which is super economical. Each bottle will give you a hundred car washes. Can you imagine? And yet it will not go out there and pollute the environment. So those are my big four and I've talked about the uh, car wash. I also want to point out that personal care is so important. It is one of the biggest sources of estrogen uh, like compounds that can actually promote prostate problems. So Near Life has a range for, I mean, for both men and women. So this is totally a total health opportunity. So in closing, many of you who are on this call will recognize, recognize this poster. Seven days without fruits and vegetables makes one week one week and uh, seven days in a week granted but you need to have lots of fruits and vegetables and that is the end of our discussion for today i'm going to open it up for comments questions discussions and if there are any pressing issues you are welcome to ask and i'm actually going to stop sharing because sometimes the network might bounce a lot and it won't be as clear as we want it to be.